Yo! Hey, welcome to the new meta. Episode 100,000. What? Wow. Wow. Yeah. That would make yeah. us like a we lot. Fast yeah. Really old. We're super old. <laughs> Quick math. Episode 162. 162? Insane. Yep. So, how you doing? When was the last time you streamed? Uh, the, the Friday before I started my new job. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's been like a, it's been a month. It's been a long time. Over a month. Hot damn, dude. Yeah. Woo. It's been a, it's been I mean, you were casual before, but now. Jeez. Super cash, man. Super cash. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I miss it though. I actually had this conversation with my wife earlier today. It's funny bringing it up. Um, I do miss it. Miss it quite a bit, but um the, the couple moments i've had to stream it's like man i can go just like actually like lay down and relax and do nothing oh, no. or i could go stream for a little bit and then uh, i'm like man if i go stream like am i gonna stream wow like i don't want to stream wow. you know might as well so, just not stream yeah wow <laughs> duck leaf much. pretty much wow killed my channel as it was so you know. <laughs> i'll just kill everyone's channel and playing such a toxic masculine game p like i really again but I didn't. You broke up, honestly, when you said that. I didn't hear. It. <laughs> good. No, I, that's, that's honestly got true. Great. Said playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. playing something. I didn't. Yeah, hear it's you selective said. hearing. Cool. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, no, you really did. You went digital. Really super digital. Cool. Um, but yeah. So today was a busy day for me. I I played tennis. Five, three sets of tennis. Okay. And then I went play kickball. Okay. Got the kickball shirt on still, and now I'm doing the podcast. And plus, I worked a full day. Nice. It's flying, yeah. man. Um, woo. How was the tennis? I, I won in three straight sets. I like crushed well, it. Actually, you're playing like your girlfriend, right? No, I'm playing another tennis player, and I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, friends, girl, girlfriends, friends that are girls. Girl. No, the, the guy that I was playing tennis against. Oh well, he must suck if he lost three okay. straight sets, dude. Okay. Fuck. Why can't I be good? Why can't you be but supportive? May, yeah. Okay. You always You're... do this. <laughs> I want a divorce. I um, think I mean, we played the big bucket pong at the dock. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I crushed it then. N Listen. Okay. Pretty sure I won, dude. Mm, I think your wife won. No. <laughs> Actually, I think we didn't we team up and kick some ass for a while, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that did happen, too. But, um, but yeah, that is a busy day. Same for me. I worked and then took kids to practice and then um That sounds terrible. Yeah. And then I worked some more and Ugh. then I did podcast schedule and here I am. Damn. Look at you. Look at us. Yep. Boomers. Double try hards. All right. Wanna yeah. talk about some video game stuff? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So last week, if I can find the button, we asked. You made a podcast question of the week. Is Diablo 2 resurrected everything you dreamed it would be? Option one, it's a dream come true. Option two, sucks. Option three, <laughs> meh. And coming in just barely on top, actually. 50% of the vote says it's a dream come true. And 41% of the vote says meh. Meh. And then how much sucks? 7.5. Hmm. Which I, you know, curious. I, I curious. curious if those 7.5 ever played in, the, you know, if yeah. they were like, played it because i mean i still think i know what you're getting there it holds right? up it does hold up as like an especially yeah. in the arpg market because there's only like what no two good games right right so yeah, yeah i mean it still holds up even though it's like dated af but right but yeah dream yeah. come true 50 yeah. percent dream come true good i that's good. a good that's a good measurement i think if blizzard said hey we're gonna make this game and 50 percent of the people that are that gonna try it, it love it love it yeah that's a great metric, I would think. Sure. So, True. You know? Not wrong. Like if 50% of the people read the quarterly update and loved it, that would probably be a good metric, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Do we have? <sighs> Hold on. Let's do a new one. I got to change the poll. <laughs> <laughs> we already know the results are going to be on that. We no, already know. We got to do No, we already know. We have to do it, man. We can't just do toxic polls 100% of the time. We already know. Uh, and we'll get to that in a minute if you guys don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah. So what, what would you have voted here? The dream come true or meh? Or sucks? 
I knew well. I knew what it was gonna be. Like I knew what to expect. Mm. I think my expectations were set pretty appropriately. I don't think it's a dream come true for me personally because that game's not my dream. Uh, but Meh is a little bit more harsh than I would vote if I had another uh, option between those it's two. Three options, B. I would say as expected. That's but not, okay. If I not if I had the... to pick, <laughs> Meh. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the meh. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's, I'm it's what I expected. And, and yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it was, it was what I expected. Yeah. So. Um, and then the question for next week, and this is a topic we're going to touch on in just a minute. New Meta Podcast question of the week. How bad are lobbies? Diablo 2 Resurrected. Option one, who cares? Love the game. Option two, needs work. Option three, unplayable. There you go. Tweet that out so you guys can go vote. Can we put an option on there, D4 quarterly update? <laughs> no. Suck. Can you put that on? <laughs> Everyone would just vote that. I know. I know. But speaking of which, we already know your opinion on this. Jeez. No, I mean, it was great. No. We knew yeah, last man. week that we'd be getting the Diablo 4 quarterly update a week late. That did come in behind schedule. October 7th, seven days late. Sham on you, Blizzard. Um, but yeah. It's uh, audio related, which we knew also it was gonna be, and so to be yeah. To be fair, I don't hate the content of the thing. I think this is a great supplemental piece. This just isn't meat and potatoes. This is the appetizer. There's not enough in it. But I don't want to. I don't want to diminish. Like I, I was. I really enjoy the behind the scenes things that they threw in here. So we we get into it, but. I, don't, I you didn't know, hate it. One thing that you notice right out of the gate is that uh, Joe Shelley is now the game director. I did see that. Yep. Yeah. So that's an interesting tidbit of information. Yeah. Uh, I've, big I've, I've met him. I talked to him. He, yeah. He's a, mm -hmm. yeah. He's a nice, a nice guy. He looked like he had been through the ringer at yeah. BlizzCon 20. Not the best public speaker we've ever met in our whole life, but obviously yeah. passionate about Diablo. Mm hmm. I think he had answered so many yeah. D4 questions by the time we got to do our little interview thing yeah. with him that it was like, I think he was like, can I fucking go to sleep now? That's that's what he looked. He physically looked like he hadn't he slept. Is. Man, it looked like he hadn't slept in days. So he looked like Summit after a 48-hour session. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but, he's, so, but he was nice. He's a yeah. nice guy. So that's that's cool. I mean... He's been with D4 since inception, it seems like. And, you know, um, he... has been with D3 for a long, long, long time. Yeah. So, I, you know, hopefully he can steer it in a good direction. I hope so. You know? I hope so. I, I hope he listens to the right... Feedback. I want to say the challengers for, like, one of his babies. So we'll see. Okay. Because um, we know that was kind of a big flop. You know, you never know. Yeah. You live and learn. Uh, but, you know, these videos are quasi-interesting. We do get some visuals. So, obviously, this is all audio-related. But through these little samples of the audio, we're, we kind of get some, like, you know, little morsels. Scenes. Yeah, environmental yeah. scenes. Like, this actually looks really good. I love the little, mm -hmm. like, snow thing it did. It uh, is a cool, like, I let this play. So, I started off letting this play yeah. as I was reading the blog. And then I went and turned it off to hear Same. the other ones. But... <laughs> Um, but it's, it was, you know, it's, it's cool. And, and it, and to, to their point, like, um, you know, obviously we're not going to read the whole article. It's, it's fairly lengthy. Yeah. Like, you know, it is robust it's, for audio yeah. nerds. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, but they do make good points, man. The games like audio is such an important aspect that I think does get overlooked in games. Mm -hmm. Like when was the last time you played a game? Like even D3, for example, you go in and you play it. When do you think like, yo, that sound effects is really, really badass. Like even though it may be. Time, yeah, first time you know, in the game. But yeah. like you're, you're still like, yeah, you don't really think about it. And yeah. now we turn, like oh, I yeah. turn sound off in D3. Well, we had to for a few seasons. <laughs> even, <laughs> even before we had to, right. you know, we still did just right. because you hear the same shit. So, um, but yeah, man, that's really cool. And I it's thought really this cool one behind the scenes. Really, really interesting. So they go out yep. and like they're doing like the fire throwing and they're actually like mm -hmm. recording this guy like twirling around like a 
And then they play the animate the sound they came up with yeah. over top while he's doing it. It's really in the fire wand. Like yeah. that's really cool to see them how they get this. So like, now what a job. Like, yeah. And seriously. You pick up your fire wand in the game now. Like I'm gonna think about this. <laughs> right. You know? You think about some nerdy so, guy in the desert like spinning a rod. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty funny. So like it this is the sound effects, like there's another one where they're they're messing with uh food, a lot of food stuff. Yeah. And it and like that's that's really cool behind the scenes. Like I could watch stuff like that all day just to see where they come up with these sound effects. We also get a glimpse of you know, like the wood wraith and monster we haven't mm -hmm. really seen before. It looks pretty I think good. The, gr the grass environment there looks pretty interesting yeah. too. So I mean, obviously that looks just like a never ending plane, but it's awfully green uh, for like you know. Yeah, Diablo that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. It's, it's like there's gonna be like it looks like some kind of lush and you know environment somewhere in the mm -hmm. game. They spent some time making some grass textures. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, what was this one that you were talking about? Yeah, they're crunching lettuce. Yeah, they're crunching lettuce. And, yeah. and what was this for? This was this was like the just sound effects and like they a lot of it was like uh, nasty like brain splatter oh, okay. or stuff and and they showed um they oh, showed like them a new like mob type. It looked like he poured out like a can of tomatoes in Ew. a tub or or some kind of tomato it's juice. Like or guys something. spitting out dudes yeah. and then oh Boy. god he explodes when he it's easy on death effects confirmed in diablo 4 great people love those yeah and uh, we get some dry steps environment scene here which mm -hmm. it's grassy which i didn't i thought it was yeah. mostly desert and there's like critters running through the yeah, grass and the grass moves like mm -hmm. it looks really cool man it does look good visually this game's going to be impressive yeah so you know, we we've already gameplay can be shit, but no I'm <laughs> gameplay. We don't know. But, we, don't know. You know we don't know. Uh you know what we, they did showcase? Did we already pass it up? Uh, I think go back one video real quick and and for you guys listening to audio. Stamps. Go this yeah, the, play this one one more time. The one with the wizard. Did you see the is this the wizard one? The wizard one, we already played it. The fireball thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back up to the wizard one real quick. What? Because they showed a new animation we hadn't seen before. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Go towards the end and you'll see her casting. Yeah, yeah. She does this really this really cool snake animation here skill. Did you see it? No. Let it let this let this one play out. She does okay. this really cool snake and it looks badass. Oh dude. shit. Yeah. That almost looks so, like it's animated on top of the video. Like I doesn't yeah, it? I yeah, it does. It it does it does look like that, but I think that's in game, and I'm sure they'll polish that even more. But that's a that's a cool looking, you know. Ah, okay, it's impressive. It's like a lost yeah. arc almost. It, it almost reminds like I don't know why it reminds me of Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat, even though his well, it was a dragon and it was green. Oh, you're but saying for some reason understand. you never played Mortal Kombat? Yeah, but not enough to like know people or the Liu Kang fatality turns to a dragon and bites him in half. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I can just see the snake doing the same thing, like, rising up and then like biting the monster. That is very lost arc. So maybe. Yeah, that, could be that could be Hydra. Yeah, is that a, that's not a Hydra. No, though. it doesn't have it doesn't have the stuff to be Hydra. Yeah, it's just a, that's just All a right. snake. A little, a little Easter egg in there. I can appreciate that. Yeah, it was pretty cool though. I like it. Scott's so. Glen Coast. We see a little. It kind of reminds. This is very Poe to me. Like yeah, on the beach. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks looks Which better. Cool. Their, their water. Their, what do you think about the water there? I like it. It's an ARPG. Yeah, okay. You don't have to blow me away yeah. with water. I don't know. Yeah, it's super super repetitive animation, but it looks good. Yeah, no, uh, no well, we got this. Scosglen rain. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit laggy. Yeah, this was just rain sound. Um, shadows are it was, lagging. It was cool. Shadows so are the really shadows laggy. lagging. Yeah, not not your best word, Bliss. <laughs> How dare you render some fucking non sixty FPS right pre alpha footage? I guess oh, this is yeah. for breakables. This is for breakables. Yeah. yeah, lots of log log noises and okay. and things like that. You could hear some fireball sounds. Cool. But that's, I'm assuming that's what there? a dungeon environment would look like. Like you're gonna go into some kind of mines yeah. and is that a mine? I don't know. It looks kind of like mm, a mine. Kind of. Yeah. Hard. It's hard to say. Is that it? That's it. There it Let's is. It. That was the blog. It was all about the sound. Uh, no in-game activities. No itemization. No. Um, you know, character development or, uh, yeah, anything that is juice. No juice, basically. This was, uh, yep, this was a bottle of water. But, you know, hurt to the grapevine, the one next year's, the early next year, the first one or something's going to be like crazy juicy. This was what I heard. 
No idea. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, and so that's kind of everything on the DL front. I mean, we knew it was going to be audio. I mean, this here's the thing, man. If they had just given us just like one thing, and then all this Diablo Four audio stuff, like that's a pretty happy crowd. Just give us it was something. A, it was a week late too. I wonder if this was a scramble, just to, like we don't have anything, man. Yeah, I don't know. Like to me, I don't like. I really dislike when there's just not even a morsel, right? Because it's like for yeah. somebody like me, or for somebody for like us, like people, I want to make a video. I want to talk about. I want to deep dive into like a Diablo Four quarterly update and like. Be like, oh, this is the change that they're doing. And like, I don't agree with this. Or I like the, where they're going here. Or, this is like good, but the, it needs work or whatever. I can't make a video on fucking audio. I can't make a video on art. It's just like, yeah, works. You know, like whatever. It, I, I don't know. It drives me nuts. Like, so yeah. it, it feels like, yeah. oh, I'm just like not making videos anymore. But it's like, no, it's just like there's nothing interesting. It's like not a, a debate. Oh, yeah, that's that's what you're you're referencing. You're saying chat saying that as promised, our next blog will cover in game act systems and visual effects. There you go. It was at the end of the blog, so of his of his little thing at the top. Um, yeah, cool. It's always next time. You know, that's the kind of how I feel. I feel like it's always next blog. Yeah. I'm gonna get juice, and I Psych. felt that way for a really long time now. I feel like uh, I think the last like the BlizzCon 2020 live event thing our virtual blizzcon thing they did it was it was cool man like you know we got to see a lot of gameplay and we got to see the rogue and and all and it was good but we still didn't hit end game activities or our itemization as much as we would have liked i mean i guess we got to see pvp so i can't complain about that but that was the the real only juice that we've gotten since 2019 when they revealed it so mm. i mean I guess yeah. it's a little harsh. It's a little I mean, harsh. Going a half a year without, I mean, more than half a year. We, we, BlizzCon Lion was when we got any juice. And before that, it didn't seem like we got a lot of juice. We talked about the mm. angels and demons system that was no, kind of bad. No, we got the, the biggest that. piece of juice we got was December of last year. Because that was like the overhaul of like the special uniques. And yeah, that was a big one. I think it was maybe arguably bigger than BlizzCon as far as gameplay yeah. updates are concerned. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm. I. I hope we get some juice. You know. I don't. Like I said, I don't. My, I don't even expect this game to come out until 23. Sure. Or late 23 at this point. Maybe just, like jokingly 24 is what I said at BlizzCon. But fuck, yeah, I was not really thinking. It was. I was kind of joking, and now it's like reality. Mm. So. Um. I just yeah. hope it comes out before I, you know, pass away, dude. We're getting kind of old, man. Like 60, 70. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I gotta, you're getting like, up there. The game out, you know? You're significantly Ooh. older than me. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Blizz. Before PGL dies. Um, but, yeah. Just running so my fingers through my hair real quick. Hold on. <laughs> that's really toxic. I was in an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have it before the accident. At least you have an excuse. Watch your, now, ma watch your mouth. All right. <laughs> um, so, that's kind of all on the DL forefront, unfortunately. Um. Yeah. But, you know, Reddit's, I will say, before we get into, like, Reddit, you know, kind of bitching, it's interesting to see Diablo Reddit be, like, 50 times more active than it's been in a really long time, thanks to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, so, we're, we're seeing a lot, a lot more action on Reddit than we have in the past, which is mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, the Diablo uh, 2 one is blown up yeah. with, check out this item I got. Right. You know. Which is great. You gotta sift, yeah, you gotta sift through 10 million of those posts, and then... <laughs> Every now and then you'll get something a little different. So, but yeah. no, it, it's people are people are happy ish. It, like you know, I, the lobby complaints are still pretty prevalent, yeah. and that's probably the top rated thing right now on Reddit as far yeah. as complaints are concerned. So, and and and, yeah. and this scammers, I guess. Yeah. The, so the top post is you know this guy saying the lobby is unacceptable. Um, we need actual chatting lobbies for LFG, trade, etc. We need game filters. If you type in bail into a filter, the only game comes up or ones with actually bail in the name. Uh, we need basic game creation tags like monster slaying, PvP, trade, and we need to be able to list the games in ascending order of time since creation. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that I agree with all those pretty things. Pretty shitty, yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Seem like good things. Yeah, and you know, I mean. I'm, I guess I'm a bit surprised that it's not I'm a bit more streamlined, like on the battle.net side. Um, but again, we, we don't have any insight into like 
what happened or i wonder if the battle.net team has to do that and it's not like really on the diablo 2 resurrected team like if there's a lot of battle.net required assistance in in doing that because they were like part of the bad stuff that happened apparently like the battle.net had some really bad accusations you know yeah so maybe they're short staffed right now who knows I don't know. but i am I, yeah yeah i'm a little surprised they didn't you know because it's battle.net like that's supposed to be like their you know streamline game service it, and it just kind of feels like eh. so um, i do like i like being able to cross talk like i think battle.net's really cool for the cross chat like if i'm if you're in diablo and i'm on wow and you message me i'll see it in game you know i like that yeah that's cool that's cool yeah I, I, so i'm glad at least i'm I'm glad that it does that like I, I can't think of any other games that i play that have that feature if i'm playing like another steam game and you're on another steam game you can't be like i mean i guess you can message me on steam but it's not in game you know mm -hmm. so Kudos to that, but fix your lobbies, dude. Agreed. So yeah, that's the top complaint right now is lobbies need work. Um, obviously, you know, we knew this was going to be a thing <laughs> coming in at Diablo 2. We knew that, you know, I've, I've seen Llama tweet out about like RMT and like, people, you know, RMT sites are reaching out to him being like, hey, do you want to be sponsored? And he's like, go fuck yourself, basically. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing scammers, which, which is a thing. Like if there's open trade, guess what? There's going to be yeah. scammers. There's going to be ways to scam people. PUE's been dealing with this since the dawn of time. Um, Haven't you ever got an email, dude? Like, seriously. Like, yeah, how do you literally. Not, how do you not, like, how have you made it through life in 2021 and not been at least attempted to get scammed by something? You know, a <laughs> call from Microsoft? Yeah. Quotes? You know, like, how many do you got? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're calling to tell you there's a DNS error? Like, no. Crazy. Do you even understand what you just told me? Like, you yeah, know. be careful. And you know, I, I've got like relatives that are like apparently like princes of. Yeah, I do too. They, they keep Africa. sending me it's emails crazy. and I just ignore them. They're like, I got five what? million US. You want it? I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so good. rich. I'm so I'm balling, dude. You seen my card? Come on, dude. But yeah, Get so you know, this guy's experienced uh, Shaco. Uh, if you put a green emerald in it then it like becomes green and that makes it appear like a you know a shako <laughs> so be careful of that um and there's also a thing where the guy tried to scam him and saying or control clicking the item into the trade window but all that does is actually like drop it on the ground and so he can yeah, like I've, snatch that, it that's up. the one that i've seen <laughs> yeah or or they'll close the trade window really fast and like they, if they can time it right, they'll close it as you're trying to drag it, and then you'll drop it on the ground that way. Yeah. So smart. So just yeah. look out, guys. If it feels if it feels wrong. Don't do it. If they seem pushy, don't do it. <laughs> um. And then you know, in some positive light, there's this crazy. I wanted to feature this because it's like pretty cool. This guy did some work. Uh, it's like a little Diablo two cheat sheet. It's got like hover over, so it's like got recipes for making runes, and it's got all the recipes for like the rune words. And if you hover over them, it tells you like exactly what it does. And like you know, some put a lot of effort into this. Yeah, um, it's a nice. This is very very nice. Yeah, resource man. So definitely give that a look. See, especially if you're playing a lot of in D two R. I'm not going to mm -hmm. go into full details here, but it's robust. It's very robust. And yeah, crazy. Good job, whoever made you. Nice, nice job, man. Um, and that's... We, have, we don't have his name. Hold on. Yeah, hits on here. Yeah, nice Michael, An Michael Angel Angel 007. Wow. Oh, yeah. Michael Angel 007. Nice. Mystic Reddit. Good job, dude. Yeah. Good on you. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, most of the talk on D D2R front. People still seem to be enjoying it. I, you know, Twitch numbers are still good. The, the yeah. hardcore PUE guys seem to be, like, really, really into it. And... Uh, a lot of the, the D three guys as well. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting to tune in to streams that are like farming at this point, because it's just like I don't know. Okay. D two okay. farming is like, <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's a little resonance lever, but uh, yeah, we'll see how the game 
unfolds and like we talked about last week there's some promise for the future of d2r and i i think that it is like six i would say it's kind of successful this time we don't have numbers and stuff like that but on twitch it still seems to be going pretty well and so i would chalk this up as like a win for blizzard in a nutshell and maybe this will get us future content for d2r who knows i hope so like it'd be really cool if they if they did a, a plus mode you know added new things and yeah i think that'd be a win for the community agreed you know you, you think thing? you think you don't but you do let's just switch it up here you think you don't but you do <laughs> yeah you know um and then in other news last epoch it's going ham so uh yeah i actually didn't see this i saw you throw it in there but this isn't one that i'm familiar with so break the, it what, down. the game what are they oh, saying okay no no i know yeah i know the game i actually think i own the game but uh but yeah what are they so they saying? had uh they came out with their sansa majasa update and uh saw like a lot of traffic and they're you know posting exactly what that traffic is and good on you for that nice. yeah. uh but they more casts they, they gave a forecast of what to expect beyond um and so legendary items and eternity cash they're doing it like a druid rework with a new form in which they kind of showcase here which is like a i don't even know it's like a bear yeah that looks, that looks really cool actually i'm watching yeah he's like a i don't even know a bear a bear man <laughs> something it's like, it's like a bear owl yeah. i didn't even know i don't know um busy though introduction of the first dungeon is coming mm -hmm. crafting dungeon. updates uh continual improvement for game visuals and so they showcase a little bit more here it's gone which a long looks way, pretty good man. yeah man sure, yeah it really has it really it really is starting to look pretty decent it really is i mean this is yeah. looking like a solid contender for number three arpg you know once it comes out, well, count maybe number two. Ark? Once it comes out, yeah. did we count Lost Ark in there? Not yet. Not yet. Did we? Did we count Lost Ark as an ARPG though? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be an MMO ARPG, but still an ARPG. Yeah, it's like it's so heavy on the MMO side. Right. It's definitely a agree. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this game honestly, like they keep making little morsels of updates, and you know, I say that about Wilson too. Like, well, if Wilson keeps updating the game, maybe it'll turn into something good. But this game's like already good, and it's not out yet and they keep making good updates and they seem to have uh, a, yeah but it's been out like five years so. yeah <laughs> it's like it seems to have a strong game. grasp on like what the community wants from an isometric rpg it seems to be more of like the pue crowd which is i think good but not so much of like a wow you know pue is over the top like let's kind of maybe back that off a little bit and it seems like they're trying to capture on that market a bit so i think this game could still turn out to be quite good we'll see yeah i i wonder I wonder, uh, was was last APOC the one that had some devs that broke off from, was it, where did they break off from? Maybe it's not. I I, I remember reading somewhere that one, one of these games had some devs that had some roots in either PoE or, or Diablo or some shit. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm making it up. Right. I'll have to look at If anybody knows about that, just throw a comment in the, the comment section or, or send me a, shoot me a message if you know about last APOC's origins. So. Sneaky Steve. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Uh, and a quick update, which we don't have any visuals for, but again, we think things are happening for DI. Enough said. Yeah. I Soon? wish we could. Yep. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think we can talk about it. I don't think. <laughs> nope. I, I, I'm like really sure we can't, but yep. It, yep. yeah. It'd things, be cool, things and man. stuff. Yeah. Too. Maybe so. You know, I, it's, or maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know either. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know anything, but rumors are that yep. it could be cool. Things and stuff. So, things and stuff. Um, stuff and, things. and then, of course, this little mom pop indie game. Um, they're about to make some massive drops. October 14th, again, is the live stream for the Path of Exiles. And if you tune in, you get oh, these. Snap. I kind of like those butterfly wings. Cosmic man. wings from D3. You just get them. No, those look so much cooler than cosmic wings from D3. I agree. But people go crazy for those stupid butterfly wings. But yeah, these I, are yeah. you know the same. So if you like cosmic wings in D3, tune in. The Path of Exiles. Those are cooler. Those are cooler than the last set of wings I gave out. 100%. Way I don't cooler. remember. Wings. They were like fiery orange wings. Okay. That's all I remember. See, that's probably them right there. Probably. No, it's not. But yeah, are, just tune in October 14th uh, for 45 14th, minutes. 45 minutes at what time? Do we know what time? Uh, noon PDT. 
PD. but it lasts until 6 p.m pd so it's like the live stream the trailer the deep dive of chris wilson and um the, PDT the podcast after so yeah. is it pdt yeah. specific time is it it is right i don't know yeah P well pst would be savings and it's not savings so it's dt right yeah yeah we'll just go with it okay so if it's wrong it's fluff's fault <laughs> yeah cool look yeah it's you know the, the quinn thing you can't convert mm. time zones remember oh right right right, right. that was a yeah. mess yeah uh didn't it happen again with someone too i think you i think you no i i don't think so i thought someone maybe i think you just screwed up quinn really bad and then we were like oh yeah we'll fix it and yeah we did the pod like yeah it really like, sucks he's like i'll host and everything first it's like sweet he's like wait what time <laughs> <laughs> i was like fluff you got google how'd you mess this up You're like i, don't I know. even googled it and like know, it's like, still fucked know. up anyways uh and so with this 3.16 um they're doing some changes, some much needed changes. Uh, it does sound like they're kind of, there's some things in here that I don't love, but uh, like they're, they're kind of stepping back on some of the ailment mitigation nerfs. Like, so they really scaled back like a chance to avoid ailments um, on like items, on flasks, on whatever. Um, and they're making flasks like maybe a bit more impactful than they were last league or the fact that they were reactive, but the reactive wasn't very good, or when you press them, like the pressing effect wasn't very good, because you know they had that two different types of flasks that they added with this last patch, and so they're kind of going back to the drawing board, which we expected, right? Like we we didn't think this mm -hmm. flask run would be like the end all be all. They're still trying to get it right, um, but yeah, it seems like basically everything they changed about flasks is getting changed again on the upcoming patch, um, and they go in like the article is super in depth, and it's it's pretty cool to like. They say, they like give you the problem, the solution, and then they're like, if you really want to like read exactly yeah, what we're thinking, specific. you're just like, yeah. yeah, which is really really cool. Yeah, um, it looks like yeah, tons of stuff on defenses change. Yeah, just going through here exactly. Like, like, so everything. the defense thing is like, like weird to me because they said like dodge is like too strong, and I'm like, the I mean to me it's like what are you on about like block? Everyone runs block. Like you don't see dodge characters in hardcore. Like, and they're like, yeah. oh, dodge too strong. And like, for me, it just kind of triggers me because, you know, dodge is my side of the tree usually in PoE. Just like, what are you talking about? Like, just forcing everyone to block is what it feels like to me. But I mean, I guess I have to trust in Path of Exile here. But they're going to make evasion and armor and energy shield like just better altogether. So maybe like buffing evasion will be make up for how bad they're nerfing dodge. Who knows? But to me, again, it's just like, what? block everyone fucking runs block what what was the general outtake so i remember last league they made all the big changes in difficulty yeah right they, they made act one harder they nerfed defense on some things they they changed change support gems around if i remember correctly and like oh, yeah. all kinds of stuff right a lot of damage nerfs. People, people were pissed yes right a lot, a lot of people were pissed yes. okay and i remember i remember that period of time and then i kind of lost my touch with the poe community like what's the sentiment now is it still like this sucks and please change it back like months later or is it as people like okay we were a little harsh i think that like across the board m like most things got nerfed and like there was that initial like oh my god like this game's unplayable because like my favorite build sucks now but then like mm -hmm. there were still like the massively overperforming builds that came out of the woodwork and like people just played those and so it kind of like felt like the same poe to them but i think like i don't know i think overall it's just like people are still like not crazy pleased about how the last patch went um how what was what was your take on the act one difficulty increase was i didn't it, was notice it a good it. thing or a bad thing i didn't notice didn't it at all. To you? No. okay interesting but i'm yeah. sure you know <laughs> to me it's like, like right right this. yeah for sure <laughs> especially so, since like because most people don't i make remember it act one. my first time playing act you know through act one like you know i, I got I, I died on the first boss once or twice and then the you know subsequent playthroughs i didn't you know and, and it was not near as difficult so i wonder going back now if i'd be like oh this it's actually hard again so yeah um what else 
That's pretty much it Uber, on the Pee Wee front. Like light breaches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Light I just wrote those notes because I like I don't have pictures to show, but like they kind of leaked a couple photos. One was like a like an Uber blight encounter, so it's like you can get a blighted map and then it can be like super juiced up, so it like it feels more rewarding to run it. So like more chances okay. to not get a spore guard boggers. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, they also had like the the breach, like it was like a, it basically. Like, I think there's a meme that people are calling it like Uber blah, but like a more difficult breach. It's like super rewarding uh, based on the modifiers and stuff like that. So uh, you know maybe you're seeing a breach isn't so snooze fest anymore. Who knows? It cool. Looks good. I think that might maybe that's like Atlas passive associated, but we'll have to see. Looks good either way. I'm in. I'm all in. I like I'm down. It. Um, super down. I think. As far the only as other thing. Hey, games? so did you did you hear uh did you hear about this Twitch thing? Oh yeah. So I pulled up an article which wasn't great. Um but basically a bunch of Twitch accounts or Twitch keys were leaked. Is that right? Am I understanding that right? Yeah, so I don't know. I haven't researched exactly what happened. I know the end result. The end result is that some hackers, and I'll put that in quotes were able to get the financial data of Twitch's streamers mm. and they leaked like the top 100 or 130 or 150, I don't know, uh, streamers gross revenue from like July of 2019 till current to like, you know, some really current date. And so basically you could see that people like Critical Role made like, you know, $9 million and, you know, Asmongold made $3 million and, and the tap man made three million dollars whatever so like they had a list of all the streamers Four fluffy that, million yeah you know p child like five bucks so <laughs> you know it's like all that stuff's out there i don't know how far down the rabbit hole they went but um yeah so you know that's that's pretty fucked like if you're one of those streamers that's that sucks man like you don't I, guess, I don't know, man. Yeah, I wouldn't. How 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 would you feel if that happened? If you're one of the guys that your shit got leaked, like I mean, like I make jack shit, but like yeah, if I'm like one of those guys, you know, and I'm actually doing pretty well on the stream, like yeah, I wouldn't love that that got exposed. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know that people are at the end of the day they're probably gonna care that much. I mean, if yeah, you I watch Aspen, you gotta know he's doing pretty good and you donate your money yeah. to them I well i don't know if it's like the insight that i have from behind the scenes like i can roughly guesstimate you know things and i know i know some numbers from people people have shared information with me and it's like oh cool like you're doing pretty good yeah you know but uh in all honesty some of the numbers were a lot lower than i thought mm. you know like if you told me asmin only made three in the last two years i would have been like no he's definitely made more than that you know and he has from you know uh sponsorships and other things sure but but uh yeah man i don't know it's kind of crappy so if you think about what they said though i and i don't have any articles in front of me right now so i'm going from memory i'm probably going to misquote things they said that there was what, what do you have it was a misconfigured switch that allowed access into a yeah. system and it just seems like if this is true like what i read if it was true it seems like some pretty gross negligence on Twitch's side for their configurations to, right. to all be on the same server and the same network, like to have somebody have access to all these things with no stops in place. Like there are so many cybersecurity policies that should prevent this thing from happening mm -hmm. that it kind of sounds like bullshit to me. I'm like, this sounds like an employee was pissed off and he leaked the data. Yeah. So, so what what is it, you know, what were you saying it like what did they well, say in this article the interesting thing about this article that i guess until last week i'd be i mean i'm still excited about what it's gonna say i'm gonna scroll down in just a second but after last week so last week if you guys missed the pod p child posted an article about how twitch is gonna you're, you're just paid boosting basically like your viewers are gonna yeah. be able to pay twitch directly not you but twitch yeah. to like boost your channel so that more people like have visibility on it Paid, paid view botting. Paid view botting. And now, according to this article, that Twitch is allegedly st stepping up its anti view botting tech. Yeah, of course, of course. it is now. <laughs> That's exactly Are you fucking what kidding I me? Said. Of course it is now. <laughs> like, I didn't even see this, but like. 
<laughs> yeah, that's exactly what Like, I'm... this makes me, like, this will get the podcast pulled off YouTube if I said <laughs> what I actually think in my head right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so, it's yeah. so crazy stupid. It's right. like, you could have done this the whole time. Yeah. But there's just no didn't care. incentive, right? There's no incentive for you to stop view botting because artificially inflating numbers makes it seem like you're better than you are. And it's good for your stock. It's good for publicity. If Ninja gets 600,000 views and only 20,000 are real, that doesn't hurt you at all. Right. Like you're thinking like, oh, 600,000 people are on my website. Your investors are too stupid to realize... <laughs> People, you know, it's just, it's just dumb, man. And it's like, you could have stopped this years ago, but now that's like, oh, we're going to, we're going to, let's get in on this view botting. Like, dude. Yep. <laughs> I thought you would react because that's exactly what I was like. I was like, oh, for a half second, I was like, about time to which like, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait <laughs> a minute. Boosting, you, like, yeah, of course they are now. <laughs> yeah. Asshole. Like I could, shoot, bro, yeah. do you know yeah. how much? how hard and how frustrating it was as a legit streamer to watch people that I know view botted numbers all the time and just be like, this is so fucking stupid because this guy is cheating the system. Except and that I, one guy that was in the Diablo 3 directory for a while. He was really popping yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, that guy was super popping off. Yeah. I don't even remember his cosmic something. <laughs> But, you know, you have these people cheating the system and it's just like, yo, I'm over here playing by your rules. Twitch, you going to do something about it, please? Like, you know. Like, sure. Just have your viewers yeah. pay to boost your channel. Yeah, just here. Yeah, well, we got you, P. Just your viewers can pay to do the same thing. And <laughs> Not uh, you, though. Yoink. Yeah. Yeah, you get. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. It's so funny, man. Yeah. It's so funny. And sad, so. but funny. Yeah. But also sad. That's cool. Um, like, yeah. Yeah. Twitch. Cool. Um, I really hope YouTube someday steps their shit up, man. Like, I, God, I want them to do so bad. And then this last little tidbit you had on the sketch. Yeah, man. So this, no, this, this is for me. Like, this is for P Child Loves. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's hit it. This is my P Child Loves. This segment. is your loves? Do you want to watch I don't know if you should play this. Is it audio it's muted? Fine. You should mute it's fine. It. It's muted, but so was the last okay. one. Okay. But whatever. Okay. Yeah, have you seen this? Yeah, I did actually watch this, I think. Okay, well, I'll talk about it. If you okay. guys haven't seen it, you can go watch it. It is uh, the trailer for the new upcoming uh, House of Dragon, which is a prequel to the Game of Thrones or the, uh, the, the George R. R. Martin series of Song of Ice and Fire, Fire and Ice, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. but yeah man this is game of thrones prequel and uh dude i loved game of thrones like the ending sucked we all know it sucked if you haven't seen it by now then you know you're not going to watch it anyway so yeah uh so i can openly talk about it it was absolute the last season the ending was absolute garbage it completely ruined it but if you throw an old episode on it's like it's still good man the show's so good that so I'm, that's I'm my crazy hangout. excited for this i mean i'm glad you're crazy excited for it because I think that there's zero hope because as soon as this show teetered off because like the books, they were past the books. And so like, yeah. okay, let's, we got it from here. And it was total fucking shit. And that's exactly what this is probably going to be. It's probably going to be no, hot I garbage. Think they, I think they know that they, I think they know they screwed it up so bad. I, you know, I hope if they can, they're, George R.R. R. Martin isn't the only clever writer in the world. Like, don't get me wrong. He wrote the books. He did a great job. If without him, he wouldn't have it. But there's got to be a couple guys on the writing staff that aren't idiots or at least consult him and be like, hey, or maybe do a test audience and say, here's, here's the story. What do you think about this? And they're like, yo, this is, if you would have test ran that Game of Thrones ending through an audience. Nobody would have been like, this is great. I don't even understand how that shit got approved in the first place. Yeah. But I'm excited, man. Like, dude, Game of Thrones was a was a thing. Like uh, when it was airing every Sunday at, you know, eight central, like my wife and I were, you know, we had snacks, we had the theater room set up. Like it was it was the whole deal, man. And it was fun. I liked it. I looked forward to it. So yeah. I agree. So yeah, you know, it's it's got that Lord of the Rings suffering thing. So like Lord of the Rings was great. Like those movies mm -hmm. were fantastic. I, you know, I think that they did a pretty good job staying true to the books and even like, you know, embellishing a bit on the books. And But there was like a lot of, you know, 
checks and balances over Peter Jackson. Because Peter Jackson's like, I still don't think to this day Peter Jackson's that good of a director. I think he's a big fucking nerd and it shows a lot of the time in his films. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, you did so good on Lord of the Rings. Like, you can just do whatever you want with The Hobbit. And The Hobbit was fucking ridiculous. Like, all of them were <laughs> so stupid. It was, no, it was, the Hobbits were okay. No. Man, like, they, they, they no. were okay. No. They were. They deviated from the book. And if you're a hardcore loyalist, if you're Mr. Llama of The <laughs> Hobbit book, Okay, and you don't want any it wasn't variation. Just a little deviation from the book. Yeah, he, he the book's like a, a tiny lot. little children's book. Okay, yeah, yeah, he, and they made three movies lot. out of it. Are you yeah. kidding? But, but it's cool. It's fine. And no, like, I don't know, man. This is fine. coming from the guy that obviously hated the Final Fantasy VII remake yeah. too. So, and I liked it. So, I think, I think I'm okay. No, Peter Jackson and action sequences, like, he's just ridiculous. He's such a nerd. This is like the thing we always go back to. Like, stop making movies so fucking nerdy that no one can even like follow or like just eye roll and maybe the whole it's time. because like i read the book i read the hobbit i read the lord Guys, of the rings those books. first books i ever read me too actually and it's and and i it was so okay like, oh, I did, it's a I little wasn't... deviation from the Hobbit. no it was a big deviation <laughs> it was it was huge yeah but i but i enjoyed it man like i yeah I, lord I, of the rings is good I, I wasn't ever like, yo, he didn't fucking go here. What are they doing? Like, I was like, oh, this is cool. This is new. Like, new. Mm -hmm. all right, make it shit up. Let's go. Right. But it was like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Peter Jackson's imagination. The book's ridiculous. still there, man. Go read it, Mr. Llama. Listen. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> you, so you liked the Hobbit movies? They, yeah, they were okay. Yeah. I didn't okay. like them. I, I didn't hate them. I didn't think that they were as good as Lord of the Rings right. movies. Okay. So I, Lord I, of the Rings is like a 10 on that scale. Yes. Where would you and, put the Hobbit? I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen him in so... I watched him in the theater, dude. I haven't seen him since. But yeah. let's say... I would say probably in the seven and a half to eight range. Like, not not crap. I wouldn't say these are shit. Don't go see them. I wouldn't be like, don't go see that movie. Mm. I was like, yeah, it was it was a good experience. Mm. If it weren't for Smaug and Desolation of Smaug, I don't know that I would, like, say you should... Was that the last one? The last them. movie no, the, the last movie one. was good. No, the, the second, second one? one? It's the third one was like the absolutely one. hot garbage. But oh, the second man. one was decent. And I liked I liked the the song that old boy I thought wrote like the casting was brilliant. Told it too, yeah. It but good, no one like breathing over Peter Jackson's shoulder was a huge mistake, in my opinion. But what are you gonna do? Where where were we? How did we get on this? What were we talking about? Oh, the Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, uh, now it's gonna be <laughs> total shit because it like the, the last one stopped being good when they went away from the writing, and this one's gonna not even have writing. So, so here's shit. the thing: the first episode will tell the whole story, like. The first episode's gonna get a billion views. Okay. And and if they kill it, then the show will be awesome and succeed. And if it's a total like what the F did I just watch, you know, then you're then we're right. But I, I think they're gonna I think it'll be good. I really do. Yeah. Okay. I think it's gonna be good. Okay. I think season one, like here's the thing. They got they probably got some really smart, good writing dudes together. <laughs> And they wrote, they're like, listen, hopefully better writing than other <laughs> really yeah. smart, good writing, dudes. really smart, good writing dudes. I was gonna say good looking dudes. <laughs> and they're like, listen, we screwed up season eight. Was it season eight? I don't even know. The last season of Game of Thrones, yeah. we screwed, we screwed the pooch so bad. We have to get this down. And so like, all right, so they get these guys in. They probably wrote the first season, maybe the first two seasons, and they're going to be really good. And then that'll take them through like three years of production, right? Three or four years of production. And then HBO will make tons of money, and then they'll be like, "Yeah, we're not going to pay these guys. Let's get this. Let's get this ragtag team of guys in here. They can finish the story, and then it'll go to shit, just like Game yeah. of Thrones." I'm curious. Like, I would think since this is like a precursor, and it's like House of Dragon, like there's going to be like a ton of dragons, right? I would think, and that's really dragons expensive cool. to film. Yeah, exactly. Right? Though, but that's like that's why. But that's the hang up for the last couple seasons is because the dragon scenes took them so long yeah. to film. They said. Like, exactly. that's why this, like, if you notice, like, seasons one and whatever, it was, like, 10, 12 episodes, and the last couple were cut down a couple episodes, because they're, like, we can't keep schedule. And that and that literally changed the script, if I remember right. So, yeah. So, the dragons, yeah, because yeah, they called people, but there's also dragons. It's how, like, they dominated. Yeah, the actual yeah. dragon. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't, if you watch the trailer, he says, we didn't win the front, the throne by dreams. We won it because of dragons or something yeah. like that. So. Check. Dope. I don't know. I'm I'm excited, man. It's gonna be cool. I miss Game of Thrones. I missed that that Sunday ritual. I I haven't had a TV show. Sopranos was the closest thing I had to that, and I used to watch Sopranos religiously on Sundays like that too. Um, 
but it it wasn't like Game of Thrones, man. Game of Thrones was next level. So okay, so that's your loves. And that's that, my loves. Here's my yeah. on the fence loves. Okay, so okay. Is, my, one of my it? favorite, if not my favorite, book series, The Wheel of Time, is never heard of it. Getting a TV series on Amazon. Okay. And it terrifies me because these trailers, like, mm, it looks like it might be like that whole like too nerdy thing. Um, but the books are like really like fucking good. Oh, she's got clothes on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. So I'm. Mean, yeah. I'm. I don't want to get overhyped. Mm -hmm. Wait. So books. you read this series? Are you yeah. a reader? Yeah. Oh, I mean, what's I was her name? until I, like I know the actress. She's been in all yeah, kinds of stuff. Gone Girl cool. Lady. Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? Yeah. No idea. I don't know either. And that that looked like uh uh. Dwayne Wade's wife, what uh, Gabrielle Union was. No there. idea. I don't know either. But yeah, it's uh, cool. it's a little colorful and like maybe a little cheap looking sometimes. So I don't know. I don't know. And how's like the whole like Avatar like wind stop? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm scared. I'm I'm major scared. This is gonna be shit. But they got a red a red headed archer guy. Okay. It's the main character is redhead. Theon. Okay, Theon. Yeah. I see. Rand. And a wolf too. Okay, so they, they copied the thing and. Is it listen? This wheel of time's been on forever, <laughs> literally. Just with you, dude. It's probably so, out before. I didn't even Ice know you fire. could read, man. You read books. I mean, Jeez, like, there's a lot of pictures. No, oh, it's not okay. pictures. It's like big ass thick books. <laughs> it's like it's doctor. It's like pop ups. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, looks a little cheap, and I'm scared. But you know, if it bombs, I'm just gonna be like, damn it, because I've been waiting like so long for us to like you, read movies you know, or. Oh, I wanted to go see the new uh, Carnage movie. So listen, guys, um, you know, I don't, if you've seen the new Carnage Venom movie. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? Like post, post just thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm just curious. I don't want any spoilers. Oh, is it out? It's out. It's been out for like a week and oh. I was going to go see it last weekend, but the tickets were sold out and I'm like, you know, I guess so much for COVID. I haven't but. seen anything, man. I haven't seen like the, the rings, the, the 10 the, rings. The 10 rings was good, man. That's definitely worth the price of admission. I haven't seen so. the widow. I haven't seen the, the, widow free, the free guy. The Have you seen the free guy movie? The free Ryan Reynolds guy. where he's like a game character. Oh, no. like the, No, I haven't. I wonder, is that out? I wonder yeah. if that's good. It's too. been out for a long time. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. I think before the yeah. rings movie came out. It's been yeah, out. like take one of your dates to it, dude. Take, you got, you know. Yeah, I just never think about that. It's just like not a very interactive thing to do. Well, it's not like the first one. Like there's like one of your seasoned ones, you know, just be like, hey, I really want to go season. see this movie. What do you mean? What? You just chill that. You chill the hell out. You know what I mean. Don't play dumb <laughs> over there. Wow. You're toxic <laughs> AF, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He loves the singular one of you. Um. <laughs> so do you want to do, give him uh, the doc right now? Great. Thanks. <laughs> Given the doc, wait, yeah. what? The transparent doc, doc CD. Never mind. Forget okay, it. I don't know. The meme. Uh, you want to do some Twitter questions? Let's do it. Okay. If you guys want to submit Twitter questions <laughs> to the podcast, <laughs> all you have to do is tweet at the peach out at Lord underscore underscore fluffy, or you can ask them in our Twitter. I mean, our Discord. Discord. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> So, uh, the first question comes from Turbania, and Turbania says, imagine a hypothetical situation where the next released Diablo game would be only uh, one for the next, would be the only one for the next decade. Which game would you prefer, D4 or a sequel to D2R in a similar way as FFX2 was a sequel to Final Fantasy X? Well, I mean, like, okay, so... First of all, technically, Diablo Mortal is a sequel to Diablo 2. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, but 2, I mean, that's kind of, we know that's what's going to be. Like, it takes at least 10 years between, like, every Diablo game. So, like, this is a certainty. It's not even, like, a, a question at this point that this is going to be the last Diablo game probably for another decade. Yeah, based on their cadence. Yeah. Okay, um, so. But getting back to the question. Yeah. So basically a sequel to D2R or D4. And so this kind of seems like a timeline question. Because to me, it's like, if we're talking about generational, like, do you want the new D4 generational, current generational game or a sequel that's like an older style like D2R? Mm. Of course, that, are you taking the question? 
Because I think like I lore, I don't think that like. I yeah, I, I would I would say D four obviously, but if if it's just like a, a lore timeline style, like where do we want to place this game's time frame? I don't care. Like I guess D. I don't know. That's I guess the thing people? about Diablo, man. Like, it, okay. like where you are in the timeline, it doesn't fucking matter. Because, like, every yeah. everyone can come back to life on both sides, mm -hmm. like, a hundred yeah. million times. So, right. I can kill yeah. Diablo, Diablo like, again. We killed, we killed Diablo in every game. Yeah. And you know what? Like, he's never even the he's never even the end boss. Right. Like, that's the thing that kind of bugs the shit out of me right. about games. It's like, you kill Diablo in Diablo 3, and Matthew is, like, 50 fucking times stronger. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's no just sense. like... Huh? Yeah, don't make no sense. Like we we talked about this before. Like I, they just need to like ha if they if they have a game plan, like they need to make like okay, we're gonna do five expansions for D four at least. Then the fifth expansion, Diablo's finally the guy. It should be like this, you yeah. know, whispered name of Doom that you would like talk about the whole time. Everyone's like afraid of it, and then he's finally like the guy for the final thing. Right. Yeah. Like so, you can't put an expansion out that's that's worth like Diablo is like it. He's the fucking game. Yeah. He He's like the guy you can't ever make anybody tougher than him and if you do then he needs to like free diablo and make him more powerful somehow and then you got to kill diablo again right. i don't Uber know diablo. like no. yeah you can't i don't know man super shredder yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> i had the super shredder action figure thank you dude um and that's some bs like super shredder knock down those posts and like what a bunch of wood falls on him like yeah he and then been his hand fine. comes up he's he like, been uh, fine bro uh, you guys, listen. You know that's funny that you bring that up because that's <laughs> one of the questions is going to. That's a fluff. Hates Super Shredder would have been fine. Yeah, Super Shredder would have just knocked the wood up and been yeah. like, "What's up?" Um, and like, didn't they kill what was what was Shredder's homie's name? Uh, Tatsu. Hmm? Yeah, it was Tatsu. Tatsu was the dude. Tatsu was like Shredder's main hand henchman guy, right? I don't remember the bald guy in the robe. He's like Tatsu Nali. Yeah. So oh, whatever. it was like from the movies. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't know. So, so like Tatsu, like they killed, they knocked Tatsu out by like just shell squishing him. I'm like, <laughs> come on, dudes. Like he's like the main guy. He like went out like a foot soldier. All right. Anyway, uh, Hex says, um, what is something that you found out was awesome before the rest of the world? I actually, so when I was putting the list of questions together, I had a little bit extra time to think about this. So I already have my answer. Mm. Mm. Do you want me to give you mine first or do you want to, you want to ponder? I mean, I, I want to influence you. I can't say before the rest of the world, before most of the world discovered like Chipotle back when Chipotle was really good. Mm. Okay. It was very early discovery. Because it started in Colorado and they very quickly branched into Olathe, Kansas, for some reason. And okay. uh, yeah. such a Chipotle, like literally walking distance from my house. Right, but now it's like not. It'd be it'd Chipotle be a long walk. falling from grace it's for sure. But, yeah, Lost Ark, not wrong. I was one of like the yeah first yeah um, my biggest numbers. So so for me, I would say uh, I went to a Lincoln Park concert when they were just starting out. They actually but they never became great. I don't Lincoln Park. I oh, mean, I love Lincoln Park, dude. <laughs> they actually opened for Alien Ant Farm. I went to oh, go see nice. Alien. I, I went to go see Alien Ant Farm at the Pageant in St. Louis, which is like a smaller Eddie, concert okay. venue. Yeah, it's it's not even it's not even a big uh, a big venue. Yeah. And um, it was like Alien Ant Farm and like Tree something. I can't even remember the other band. It was like it was like back in the early two thousands. It was you would have known the name maybe. And uh, but Alien Ant Farm was a headliner, and then like Lincoln Park opened first, like they were like the smallest one. And I think they had been on tour like maybe six months, you know, total. And so I heard them, and I was like, oh shit, this is legit. And I, I you know, bought one of their CDs at the concert and uh, was rocking it out and showing it off to people. So I made oh, yeah. Lincoln Park famous, you know, it's me. Wow, you did Jeff. that, Jeffy. Yeah, it was on me. Good job. Um, Kevin Hill says. What is something that can instantly? Oh, I got one. Ruin... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, okay. Oh, you got your thing. I literally invented the claw. That's me. <clears throat> the claw. The claw. Holding your controller, <laughs> like this. That's me. Claw grip. That's me. <laughs> literally. Is me. that wait? Is that how you hold a controller? Yep. Okay, controller right here. What What are we doing now? 
You got your the hand claw? on top so you can hit all the buttons with your index finger. It's the claw. I invented the, that. The, the up, down, left, right buttons? What? Are you on what a PlayStation? I don't know. They get the X and the yeah. circle and the square. Yeah, with your index yeah. finger. You're hitting... What, which one are you hitting? Hold it oh, like you hitting, normally would. These? Hold the controller okay, like okay. you would. You're, you're, you're right hand. bring you're you're, your finger on top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck? No. It's the claw, bro. Yeah, you get paddles in the back, and then you don't have to... Yeah, they didn't have that back in the day. Claw. Yeah, I made that. Okay. Anyways. Buff, yeah. Buff made the claw grip. Do you claw grip your mouse, too? No. Like, like you don't you do not do this on your no, mouse, No, I'm like too. a very flat, which is not how Shroud does it. But. Okay. Uh, Kevin Hill says, what is something that can instantly ruin your day? I like random like work bullshit can ruin my day. <laughs> I don't know. It's only stuff to like if it's always work related. Something blows up or you know, this week I had some BS happen at work and I just ugh. I just ruin it. or make your day uh pregnancy test. <laughs> I mean, that would be yeah, literally worst case scenario. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. I mean, what could instantly ruin your day? I mean, that could instantly ruin your day, right? Yeah. <laughs> be like, oh, depending on who you are, for you, you're like, yay. No, Fluff would be like, uh, hey, uh, uh, Fluff, uh, you'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. What would you, you know? Okay. I just need to get the it. snap, bro. I just need to get That's it done. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't even know how you haven't yet. That blows my mind. Yeah. Dude. So, um, Let's see. Ice Monk says, if you could pick a new video game franchise to reboot, what game IP would you pick? Final Fantasy VII, make an isometric ARPG. Nice. And, a and make it an ARPG? Isometric ARPG. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Be wow. fucking dope. An ARPG. Okay. Yeah, they'd be, you could really do some cool items. Yeah, Materia would be yeah, uh, fantastic yeah. in an isometric RPG. Yeah, it'd be cool. And you'd have classes. So, you could be like, you know, the fist Tifa person. The most, you could be see, like, I, yeah. The, the most successful game ever of all time would be a Pokemon MMO. Like, it it would just destroy. <laughs> and I don't even like Pokemon. I'm just saying, from like a financial point of view, if somebody made a Pokemon game that was like World of Warcraft, where you ran around and like collected fuck Pokemon and did dungeons and battled them, Isn't you would like make pet so... battles and WoW. Isn't that yeah, like but Pokemon? like actually do it right. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you would make so much money, it would be ridiculous. Now I don't really care about Pokemon, so that doesn't get me going. But if I could reboot any franchise, I would pick Ninja Turtles. I would want them to make some dope ass turtle games, and that's why I said the Super Shredder comment earlier mm. leads me in because when mm. I was putting them together, I thought about that. They actually made a, a Turtles game on PC in like 2007 uh, that was okay. Like I played it. It was like an action kind of kind of like beat em up like an Arkham Knight style game. Like it was very Arkham Knight-ish. Okay. And it was a little bit darker. It wasn't super cartoony. Like it was like actual, you know, like a cool storyline and stuff. But the game, you could tell it didn't have like big money behind it. It wasn't like AAA money, but it had, it, it was good. And it was an okay game. I played it and it was decent. Um, I would love to see it them make a turtles game that was like on the level of like um like one of the star wars like what was that latest star wars that came out with the redheaded kid uh that was good i played it and beat it i can't remember the name of oh it. the game yeah no yeah. idea. What, what was the name of that i, I don't know i played uh did i out <laughs> no it wasn't outcast it jedi was something fallen order it was fallen order and i think and um that game was really good man like Fallen Order was absolutely phenomenal. I would love to see a Turtles game get some AAA love like that. Like get a good, good story, good budget, some unique concept. You know, it doesn't have to be unique. Like steal some, some game mechanics from one of those games and, uh, and just do it up, man. Yeah. Especially, especially if you could do like multiplayer, online multiplayer co-op or land co-op or I don't know something like where we could each play a turtle and just kick ass like the old arcade games. I don't Super know. Do you think that like formula still holds out? Like the whole like fighting bad guys. I, like if they, it, I, yeah, I don't know. Like maybe know. we go kill, like we go kill stuff in like Diablo together. We group up and kill stuff in Diablo. Yeah, we group like, up and kill stuff in WoW. We group up and kill, like I don't know. Like yeah, I think, turtles I think you could do it. Work as that kind sure. of game where you like get equipables, like you get a new shell or. I don't know if you get a new shell. You get maybe new katanas. Or, okay, okay, I don't know. Maybe new skills. 
Maybe not. Maybe just kick ass. I don't know. I don't know what there. If you could find some grind, that's what I'm saying. Like if somebody was like pick something, dude, that that'd be me. I'd, I'd go with the turtle game. Um, you know the, the rebooted movies suck so bad too. Like, what was the last good movie you saw? The Ten Rings. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Ten Rings was 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 good, man. Yeah. It was definitely definitely worth the worth the ticket. So, um, what about you? F man, I don't even like. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. Like I, I'm getting you worse about movies. it too. Because like before, I'd be like, "Well, I'm committed, and I'm just gonna finish this thing." And now I'm like, "No, I'm not even gonna like. I'm not gonna waste any more of my time." So like, there's been so many movies recently I've started and not finished. Oh my god, I actually oh. like watched, started to watch Hall Pass. The comedy from like yeah that was from like ever it was fun it was a good movie yeah. it gave me anxiety it gave me literal anxiety How? in the first half hour because one they're I like mean, these seen whipped out. ass dudes like lit in a marriage <laughs> and they're not getting any sex and like they're just like their lives are terrible and they're like taking care of their kids the whole time and there's like a bunch of like whip was that like a like, nightmare like, for you or it something was literally or a nightmare and I was like I, I gotta stop I gotta I can't I can't watch this. And then the guys were like, oh, just give him a hall pass. It's like, what the fuck? What, what universe would this have? Like, maybe just have sex with your husbands, you weirdos. Like, this is weird. <laughs> the whole thing is fucking weird. You know what I want to watch? Uh, and I haven't yet. Dave Chappelle has a new stand-up comedy thing. Like, I love Chappelle, man. And his okay. comedy specials are absolutely hilarious to me. Uh, he's got a new one on Netflix. I'm going to watch it. Like, literally, as soon as we get done with the pod, I'm going to go watch it. Were you going to so, keeping up with the challenge? Yes, I watched it uh, tonight before the pod. Luckily, the hour break that you know we would have started, I was like, "Let's watch the challenge." Have you? Have yeah, you? Are you yeah, current? Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Whew. I mean, messy fast. It's, uh, yeah, dude. I mean, well, he's, he's <laughs> you used to like that ghost. guy too, right? I used to before the show. Uh, I'm glad the winner of of today's of the last episode. The the winner I haven't of seen the, pit the end of today's. I started it, but I didn't see. Okay, well, I didn't say it okay. then, so good. I, I'm happy with the winner, though. That's, okay. all, that's all I'll say. I'm, I'm glad that, that those people did, okay, okay, okay. did well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see that new Chappelle stand-up, dude. I think it's going to be... I hope it's hilarious. Like, Chappelle kills me. Wow. Uh, Zondar Kid says, I'm, I'm <laughs> so I'm broke. What's the best way to entertain yourself without money? That's a good question. I mean, like... I would... I would say a sport, man. Like, so some sports are expensive, but there are cheap ones. Um, basketball's pretty darn cheap. You buy a ball, you can usually find a park with the net. Uh, you could do um, just working out in general, I guess. Yeah. You know, that's what I was doing. Something again. working out, do bike, bike riding. You don't need um, a gym. Yeah. Hiking. Uh, yep. Trying to, you know, those are, those are all outdoor stuff is, is cheap and usually. Yeah. Really inexpensive just to travel to get or there. Or like usually. revisit, you know, one of the thousand games in your game collection, you know? Like if mm -hmm. you want to go the yeah. lazy route. If you're like me and your Steam collection's huge and you got a backlog yeah. for days, you know? Um, go to yeah, church. Yeah, I guess. I, I, what else? Go, say go to church. <laughs> Someone in chat said that. <laughs> <laughs> go to church. Okay. <laughs> not, it's not free. I mean, no, yeah, don't they try to get your money? If I mean, you, they try. You can always be like, nah. I'm just saying. You know, like that dish, dude. Um, and that's all I can think of right now is sports. I can't think of what else is cheap. Sports, exercise. Um, There's usually like most cities have free activities. Like the zoo in St. Louis is free, but I think that's a pretty big thing that most cities don't have. Um, what else? You know, parks. I don't know, man. Yeah. A lot Angry free these days. Yeah, I know, right? Angry Korean says, um, <laughs> he said, hey, Fluff, what do you do with mementos from past relationships? Mementos? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Honestly, like, if it's a positive memory, like, maybe I'll keep it. I don't like a lot of stuff or clutter. So, like, usually, like, I remember one argument that I had when I was with Lindsay she gave me a card and she'd like written down every favorite mem memory of like all the time we had spent together. It was like two, two years in. And I was like, wow, this is like really nice. I appreciate the card. And then like two weeks later, she found it in the trash can. 
He's like, I can't oh, believe man. you would throw it away. And I'm like, if you cry. what am I going to do with it? Like, it was, I appreciate it. I'm going to remember this forever. I still remember it now. I don't have it, but I remember the sentiment. Did you make her cry? I mean, she was upset. She was visibly upset. And I was just like, <laughs> you're such a dick, man. You're so insensitive. Is, it, is that insensitive? Yeah, a little bit. You, you should think? Just, like you should you should know to like stick it in a drawer for a year at least. I stuck year. it in a drawer for two weeks. Or throw it away at work or like not in the house. Like take the trap. Like <laughs> that's just fake, and that's not me, man. No, it's not fake. It's just like sensitively covering up the fact that you don't care enough to keep her hard work that she made for you. I remember. Like I can even like sit here and list <laughs> off the things that she mentioned, but just I didn't want to keep the card. No, I, I don't. Like, you know. Yeah. I, it depends. You got to know your audience, right? So, you you know, at two years in, you probably should have known she'd be upset if you throw it away. Sure. Yeah, I knew that she wouldn't have loved the idea, but I didn't also mm -hmm. expect her to, like, go through my trash. But whatever. Oh, that is kind of weird. Why is she going through your trash? It was crazy fucking jealous. <laughs> Damn, like, that's crazy jealous, dude. <laughs> um, But, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if the item what has... What are you texting P? You talking yeah. about his wife? talking to her i mean you remember when you and i talked about how we would like copy paste messages on myspace yeah was she that on the podcast did we, did, we, did we did we talk I think about so. that so yeah that me and peach owl were on the plane right we were on the plane and we were talking about how we used to like you know you'd pick oh, up yeah. chicks yeah, on yeah, myspace we were on the plane. Yeah, yeah 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 and like we would basically copy paste like the oh, same you know dm what? to I every think, girl i think she even got mad at me for that yeah. because she said something to me about like, it you guys at are BlizzCon. fucking disgusting or something like yeah, that. She, yeah yeah she and she i was, was like, like mad. I, I thought she was joking for nope. a long time but she was serious yeah yeah <laughs> anyways um yeah that's fine. yeah so like items i'll keep if like if they have value outside of what they are you know what i mean uh -huh. so like if it's a card i can't just like keep paper around for decades and recycle it if it's like something that is has like value outside of what it is i don't just like keep, a, oh eggshells from our first night that we spent yeah. like i'm not that guy i mean it's, if it's so the key thing to me is past relationships okay oh, okay they're, okay they're okay, the, okay. I see they're, what you're in, they're in the trash you know what i'm saying so if it's from if it's from my wife i still i still have ones that are valuable to me like I have um, a key card from our honeymoon, like the cruise ship okay. we went on our honeymoon. I kept the key card because I thought it was cool. They, uh, I have a bottle of Coke from Atlanta when we went to the Atlanta ta factory and, and like toured the Coke plant there because it was really cool. Um, so like I have certain keepsakes that I keep, but yeah, like, you know, if she wrote me like a really nice, like, you know, I love you, happy Valentine's Day card or something, I don't have it. Probably, you know, maybe it's on a shelf somewhere, but probably not. Yeah. So, but yeah, I trash them. They're they're gone. I'm actually, I saw a photo of look at this in my drawer. It's me and Lindsay at a uh, holiday party. See? There you go. I throw that in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you but just like trash this, it? I have a flask. Like someone gave me a flask. It's like yeah. a Christmas gift once, and it says Lord Fluffy on it. Well, I'm keep that forever because I could use a fucking flask. Like that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, if it's a cool item, I'll keep it. But it's not because of her. It's because of. Like, yo, this is just a cool thing, you know? That's, yeah, there's another one that you throw away. I, should probably, I mean, like, like clean, I have, I have, okay. Shit. So, so, like, here, yeah, I have one right here. I'll, I'll grab mine. <laughs> Apparently, I need to clean out my drawers. And I'm back. Welcome back, dude. So, like, I have, I have this thing. I got this from an ex. And I didn't keep this because of her. I kept it because I just thought it was cool. What is I also it? Have, ah, is it? It's Titus. Oh, from Final Fantasy X. Oh, that game and I have. Garbage. She also got me a cloud one from Final Fantasy VII, but that one's actually like in a in a uh, poster mm. holder to keep it safe because it's really cool. Um, but like, I don't give a shit about her. But these are just cool posters. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna throw this away. It's Titus, dude, from FF10. Who didn't? Who didn't like Titus, man? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I need to throw this shit away. Like, I yeah, for past relationships, I think that from Kristen, who was the ex before Lindsay, I had a like a one of those character drawings of us in New York. Um, yeah, because that was a great fucking trip. Like, and it was super fun. And I had that in my drawer for a long time. And then Lindsay kept like bringing it up. I was like, fuck it, like I'll throw it away. Like, it's not worth right. arguing about. 
but now I'm like, damn, yeah, that was a good memory. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of the memory. I, I don't know. It's weird for me though, because I've been with my wife for so long sure. that it's like I was a kid back when I feel like now when I look back, I'm like, that was like 20 years ago. I don't care about that much, you know. So, yeah. um, that's it, man. That's all the questions we yeah. had for tonight's pod. Easy. <laughs> Peach out still loves this ex. Hello. Okay. <laughs> True. <clears throat> well, I've still got pictures of his at least. So I'm still one of them. But if you guys uh, want to catch more of me, you Did can ever... catch me at the Peach Out. Did I ever tell you that story of the picture that I brought to Mexico? So I... No. <laughs> so I brought, uh, there's. Wait, when? Mexico. When I was in Tulum. Trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's like this healing ritual. And it's like, you're supposed to bring something to burn. And so I I brought this photo of Lindsay and I, like from our first vacation, like we went to Vegas and we did one of those photo booths. And so I had that okay. photo and it was like sitting in my fridge and it's like, bring something that's like, you know, very memorable. And like, you're going to throw in this fire and, you're, fire and you're like heal. Right. It's like this big shaman thing. So it's like, sure, I'll do this. Like, cause I was like kind of still fresh out of it. Right. So I go to this thing and it's like, my turn to throw it into the fire and as soon as i threw it in like it's our literally torrential downpouring and so like i throw it in it starts to catch fire and just like immediately the fire gets like put out and so then like Time. yeah so it's like oh my god like what does this mean like that's that's fucking crazy and then like the two days later i well i did this, this other healing thing in the jungle <laughs> and that was a nightmare but um you're calling you're calling her a thing god damn dude uh but yeah and then like so that actually kind of fucked with me for a bit and so i was like back in town and i was like no nah, i'm just gonna burn it so i just like burned it myself but oh, that did like nice. fuck with me for a hot minute yeah and then you probably like drunk dialed her a couple times too well i couldn't thankfully because <laughs> she blocked me on literally everything so <laughs> Woo. So, fun. so funny man what are you gonna yeah. do? I don't know. We should start a relationship side podcast. You know. Yeah. I mean, I I still feel like I you know, I did good at the end of the day. She might resent me and stuff, but Yeah. I think you made I the right choice. <laughs> I I did sure. make the right choice. Yeah, yeah. You made the right choice. Like you know, people may not be happy, but ultimately it's the better for both people. Yeah. Involved, exactly. You know? So I'm happy for you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Dodged. All right. Where, where can the peoples find you? Yeah, yeah. Lord underscore fluff. Double those underscores on Twitter. We'll see you guys next week for 163. Yeah. 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 163. 1,000. 1,000. No. All right. Peace out, dudes. Peace.